I don't know why when I booted this up, I was expecting to hear the Last of Us theme. Different zombie series. Greetings one and all, my name is Lancer and welcome to a new gaming series. We are going to be playing Telltale Games The Walking Dead. As is the reoccurring theme on this channel, I mean, that's why I started in the first place, I am sharing yet another passion for a series that I love very, very much. The Walking Dead. I am a huge fan of the series, the TV show, the graphic novel, and the game. Now, this isn't so much a game. If you're familiar with Telltale at all, they're not renowned really for their gameplay. I mean, you'll see as we get started. It's a point and click adventure, pretty much. But we're mainly going to be here for the story. Now, if you couldn't already tell, just based on everything that I've already started praising, I am very familiar with this game. <laughs> I have been meaning to replay it for a long time. My first experience with the game was through watching Let's Plays and then I eventually played through season one and a bit of season two on my own, but it has been probably close to a decade that I've actually played through the game myself. But there recently was a huge sale on The Walking Dead Definitive Edition, which has all seasons one, two, three, and four, as well as some of the DLCs, I think. It was like a 75% off sale, so I was like, I think this is a sign from God that it's time for me to start yet another series that I love. Now, if you've seen any of my other gaming series, whether they were the Doki Doki Literature Club, or the Jedi Survivor playthrough, it's not going to be a lot of crazy editing. Of course, I will cut stuff here and there. There's a lot of lulled moments. Again, these videos are more maybe for the people who aren't as familiar with the series, but maybe enjoy my content. But enough said, this is going to be a journey. Click to begin. Let's do it. Well, of course, we got to get through the menus first, you know, set up all the settings, music calibration, all that brightness. Now, this will be my first time playing the Definitive Edition because... There is a difference. Oh, man. Now you will notice also, I don't have like really any lights other than Neo light back here, but because this is sort of a, a spooky game. It's Walking Dead. It's horror. Season select. Settings. Whoa. Uh, subtitles on. Graphics. Yeah, there's not going to be any. Uh, no motion blur that you have to worry about. Again, this is my first time playing the Definitive Edition, which is the remastered version. It's so that like seasons one and two match more of the style of like season four. You know, a lot more of those deep shadows, like uh, more of the comic booky look. But yeah, I guess we'll just go to season select. So, yeah, we got season one, season two, a new frontier, season three, final season, Michonne, and 400 days is not included, I don't think. I'm giddy. It's just now hitting me that like, oh, we're we're gonna revisit this story again, but also it's kind of hit me. It's like this is gonna take a while. <laughs> Let's do it. The Walking Dead. How it all started. As the world ends, Lee Everett looks for redemption and fights to protect the young Clementine. <sighs> I should have tissues. It's fine. It's fine. I already know what's going to happen, so I'm not going to cry, right? I'm more used to playing this game with like a controller, which I know this does have controller set up, but eh, keyboard and mouse. All right, there's still more settings. <laughs> Ooh, so we could turn the hints off. No, I want to keep them on because I like when it does, because that's the whole thing is just like this person will remember that. We'll keep the standard stuff on. Can we legit like just play through any one? Oh, there's 400 days. Okay, so we can play it after the end. Got it. But yeah, all right. Episode one, a new day. Pop. I missed. Interesting, there's still so much sub, like a loading thing, you know? At least it's not like the original where it showed like the fucking floppy disk. This game series adapts to the choices you make, the story is tailored to how you play, except not really. Hey, that meant something back in the day, man. Because this came out in what, like 2011? My Telltale... Uh, I don't know why I hit the Mr. Beast pose. But my Telltale journey started with the Jurassic Park game, which I actually really do want to replay someday because that game is... So nostalgic for me. <sighs> it looks so different now, but still so nostalgic. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. <laughs> Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Look around. About now I get the, I didn't do it. What do you and say? What do you say? I say, yep, I know you didn't. Ah. Uh. Yeah, I'm looking around. I followed your case a little bit. You being a making boy and all. You're from making then? Yep. 
came up to Atlanta to be a city cop in the 70s. Hmm. I always wanted to work a murder case, like that senatorial mess you got yourself mixed up in. With all due respect. With all due Real respect. Shame, that is. Hmm. Hell, the whole family used to be regulars at your folks' drugstore right in downtown. Still there? Sure is. Good. Uh, Dave Fenoy, right? Voice of the lead. I know I him. I nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on a six year. You meet your wife in Athens? Let's not you talk about her. I see it? Sure. <laughs> Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. I know, it doesn't matter what you say here. That is the one thing about this game is that uh, I pretty much know all the correct choices. Any of that seem important to you? All of it, but that box never shuts up. Sit in this seat and pay too much attention and you'll drive yourself crazy. <laughs> drive. I'm driving this man once. He, he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. Mm-hmm. He was an older fella, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk. But yeah, David Fenway, I know him because of Punk Rell from Clone Wars, but which I think this was around the same time. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like like a fussy baby on an airplane. Not tell him he's got to stop. That's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. So he stops, and having exhausted all his options. He starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Man. Man? <laughs> Not even close. They caught the fucker red-handed. Stabbing <laughs> his wife, cutting her up as the boys came to keep the picking the first option. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. It goes to show, people will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. Oh, I got another good one for you. Oh boy. A little bit less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other What's time. Uh, a little slow in the draw there. Sorry, I took my mouse off. Jesus. <laughs> Here we go. Kind of similar to how Rick's story starts, you know? Knocked out, misses the first little bit of it. Though we gotta remember, I'm pretty sure the Telltale games follow more of the comic version of The Walking Dead as opposed to the show. Officer? Hey! Hey, officer! Are you alright? I'm still cuffed back here! He's got, oh, he's got, like, bugs on him. Why the hell did he have his gun out? Officer? Oh, that doesn't look good. He wasn't ejected from the car. Yeah, alright. Let's get out of here. Damn it. Already, like, that first scene already sets up, like, so much with this. It's a shame with Telltale. I'm not used to... Oh, you have to, like, switch with the number keys between looking and interacting. Oh, my God. Yeah, again, I'm more used to controller with these kind of games, but... But, yeah, Telltale, it's like, they went out of business, right? Because I know Skybound is still sort of in business or something, or they got, like, absorbed by another company. You 
You know, because Telltale, they made such good story games, man. Like, sure, the point-and-click genre isn't for everybody, obviously, because I know more people obviously are more into... Oh, I can just pick up the shotgun. The officer's shotgun is over there. Can I pick up a shell? But even this, like, because a lot of Telltale's like earlier games, like Jurassic Park, Back to the Future, um, even the Batman one for a little while, those ones are much more point and click. Whereas this one, it at least implemented like I'm actually using WASD to move. Officer. Officer. Hey. Ah, here we go. Shit. Nice one. Like, I'm actually moving in the cutscene as well. Yeah, why, why are you so scared? It's almost like you're anticipating something. Ugh. It's the level of interaction as well. Officer. Yay! Move back. What in the hell? Back up, back up, back up, back up. Give me the gun. Ah, oh, motherfucker. Don't make me do this. Sorry, buddy. Why is my heart racing? <laughs> it's because I don't want to mess up. I want to be quick. Oh. There she is. Oh my god. Ugh. Oh, they're coming. They heard a little bit of the, the music there, but. Mm. Hustle, Lee, hustle. Bro, I'm not, yeah. Keep my hand on the mouse, just in case. Oh god, okay, it's turned down for you guys, but this is like really loud for me right now, I gotta adjust that. It's interesting how Hello anybody <sighs> Yeah, that won't draw attention back to you at all. Sh look at the detail, man. Anybody up there? Help! Cuz my memory is more of like the original version, which is hard to sort of compare just like I I have more of a memory of it having like a brighter exposure and obviously not nearly as much shadow and line tracing done on these. Somebody. Yell if you can hear me. <laughs> Telltale games always seem to start that way where it's just chaotic right at the very beginning, which is a good hook. Maybe I should just check inside the house through the glass door before wandering out into the neighborhood. <laughs> Classic. Just thinking out loud. It's funny because I've watched people who play this for the first time. That opening scene, you could easily, like, die very quickly, which, I mean, in this game, it's not that it matters. You just start over again, but... Hello? Anybody home? I need a little help. I'm kind of glad that they didn't, like, completely overhaul the game. Because I feel like they could have... Obviously, keep, like, the voices the Come same, in. but, like... Don't shoot, okay? 
this game is... I mean, obviously, in terms of all the Telltale games, this is the best one. I mean, clearly, because it's still being played to this day. Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. <sighs> These people might need more help than I do. Here we go, man. And one more thing I want to look up. Who does the music for this game? Jared Emerson Johnson is the one who did the music for this game. I'm trying to, because obviously I know like the main theme for this game really well. Oh, Jesus. A lot of the other music as well I'm trying to pay more of attention to. Three new messages. Normally it just goes on its own, but... Sandra, this is Diana. We're still in Savannah. Uh, Ed had a little incident with some crazy guy near the hotel, so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out. Anyway, he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight, so we're staying an extra day. Thanks so much for looking after Clementine, and I promise we'll be back in time before <laughs> spring break. Tried to go around. Message two. Left at 1119 p.m. Hey. Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please. Don't know if I'll drink that. Just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Murrieta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message three. Left at 651 AM. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. <sighs> Man, I'm already getting emotional. <laughs> it's all a little bit of a shadow that way. Hello? No. You need to be quiet. Why is that? Who is this? I'm Clementine. This is my house. Hi, Clementine. I'm Lee. You're not Lee. my daddy. <laughs> not yet. <laughs> I'm not. Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Where are you? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. That's smart. See? Can you see me? I can see <laughs> you through the window. <laughs> oh, boy. Oh, forget you to eat. E. Literally a QTE. E. Oh god. Damn. Forget his legs busted. <laughs> I just punched him. Give me that. E. Oh yeah, give me that. Here's some trauma for you, kid. You're gonna grow up fast. Night, night, Sandra. <laughs> Man. Hi there. <laughs> Hello there. Did you kill it? I don't know. I think so. Sometimes they come back. Yeah. You killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. <laughs> she already has more experience than he does. Through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. I mm. think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look. I don't know what happened, 
but I'll look after you until then. What should we do now? Oh yeah, we can choose how the how everything looks, but let's we yeah. We need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah, it's yeah. not safe at night. Let's go. Stay close to me. And here we go, the dynamic duo. Shut the door. Just a subtle thing there, just like, you know, leaving the comfort of home, shutting that door. I like how in the menu for this game, it, it shows this house, but it's all overgrown now. I ain't never getting home to mama at this rate. <laughs> this sucks. Oh, it's hot dish night. It's hot dish night. It's interesting though, even if you wait for it to What's be nighttime, night? they're still here. Should I stay? What? I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? I won't leave you alone. Well, let's go somewhere safe that's close, okay? That's a good idea. Oh hey, my man. god, what happened there? Holy shit! Don't eat us! We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Just covered in blood. Second, you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. We need help. Are you trying to get out of here? Because you should be. Those things are all over the damn place. I haven't seen anything as gnarly as this neighborhood since downtown Atlanta, 15 miles back. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee. Green. This is Clementine. <laughs> I'm Chet. Chet. You shouldn't be out in the open like this. How about you help us clear the way, and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... A neighbor. Her parents are... Out of town. A neighbor. I feel like that's the common go. answer. Staying put for too long is a mistake. What do you want to do? I. The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. Let's get him to f out of here, shoddy. We're doing this with a busted leg, man. Thanks, Clem. Um. <laughs> Were any of those guys neighbors, too? Why'd your voice get so loud? Oh, so pretty. I want to see more games in this kind of style, like comic booky. I feel like Telltale is the only one who's done it. Other than like Borderlands, I guess. More story-ish games like this. Hey, Sean, I'm gonna run on home. My mom is gonna be in a snit. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Bye, Chet. Never see you ever again. <laughs> I mean, he just walks home like he's up the road, so... Thank God you're okay. I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you then. You've brought a couple guests. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. So it's just <laughs> you and your daughter then. Oh, not his daughter. He was her neighbor. Honey. Do you know this man? Do you know yes. this man? Eh, that's... Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Uh, yeah, it's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You, take a seat up on the porch and I'll go see what I You. Have. It's interesting that we go to such a unknown set piece to the Walking Dead universe very fast. Yeah. This is swollen to hell. It hurts like hell. I bet it does. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. 
Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Herschel Green. Yeah, this is comic book Herschel. How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Just subtly interrogating us. I was getting out of Atlanta. The news says stay. Yeah, well, that's a mistake. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Just be honest with him. Police officer. He was giving me a ride. Awful nice of him. I'm an awful nice guy. House is full up with mine. We got another displaced family of three sleeping in the barn. <laughs> you and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem Clementine. Can't imagine what you've been through, Clementine. Clem Clementine. I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we got to reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know I love his voice. TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious shit hitting the fan. I don't think anyone knows how big it is yet. Your son's right. You're going to want to fortify this place. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. Dead people walking. Chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We got to do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. Well, or chop we'll the leg off. It, redress it and you'll be fine. Okay, that'd be preferable. <laughs> okay. There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards Macon, I suppose. Macon, then. Macon bacon. Then we told the truth. Mostly. Huh. It smells like... Manure. Manure? Like... When a horse plops? Just like that. I miss my mom and dad. I bet, Clem. How far is Savannah? Pretty far. Oh, okay. Oh, just hearing the fucking string, man, it just... <laughs> hey, get up. Let's go. That's my fucking boy right there. Well, you slept in a barn, little lady. Lucky you don't have spiders in your hair. But I bet your daddy scared them all away, huh? I'm, uh, not her dad. Name's Lee. I'm Kenny. Dad, we're in the middle of fence. There's a tractor and everything. This little shit. We better get going, or we won't hear the end of it. That's my boy, Ken Jr. We call him Duck, though. <laughs> Dodging or quacking? Quacking. Dad! See? The word is you were on your uh, way to My family's from there. It's nice well, to see Kenny on the way, happy. Personally, I'd appreciate the company of a guy who can knock a couple of heads together if he has to. Sure, we'll tag along. It's a plan then. Honey, Duck, this is Lee. And uh, what's the girl's name? Clementine. Clementine. I could go oh, for some Clementines right now. Name. Thanks. Well, <laughs> we should get to work. We've all seen what those things can do out there, so the faster we get this fence up, the better. I want to build a fence. Yeah? Well, I need a good foreman. You can sit on the tractor and yell at me whenever I take a water break. On the tractor? Cool! <laughs> Duck and I will hop to it. Hop to it, boys. I can keep an eye on your little girl here on the porch. We can visit.
break time. Yeah, now we're walking normally, finally. It's not the most reliable pickup in the world, but it gets the job done. Hey Let's talk to old Kenny. So what's your family's plan? Get back on down to Lauderdale and let this mess get sorted out. Government will start handing out shots and the National Guard will do its thing. On the odd chance things got too bad, we could hop on my boat, I guess. You've got a boat. Yeah, things like shouldn't get too bad. Catching mackerel, dolphin, whatever's biting and paying. Katya wouldn't be wild about it, but the boat's not that bad. The, the boat. Need any help? No, I think I got it. Do you need At least I asked. Help? What do you mean? Well, I mean in taking care of that little girl. You know what you're doing? You got kids of your own? Nah, nah. No, no kids. Would have liked one then. You know. Someday, maybe. See ya. <laughs> See ya. Yeah, how I'm gonna do these is I'll do it episodes at a time because these get pretty lengthy. These episodes will go probably anywhere from like an hour to an hour and a half, even two hours maybe at a time. But yeah, we'll just split it up like that. If I feel impatient, maybe I'll do two at once, but that's how we'll do it. Let's go check out the boys. What's up, boys? You know how to drive it? Sure don't. I can give you a hell of a critique of the U.S. Farm Bill, though. I'm good. I'm good. I don't want to talk to you, Duck. But I'll talk to Sean. On that fence. Yeah, I'm trying to talk hey, to him. Need a hand? That'd be great. If you could cut those two bites to length, that sure speed things up. Sure. My dad doesn't know how bad it is. No, he doesn't. I saw a guy in Atlanta kill a kid. A boy. Just shot him right in the face. Damn. <laughs> damn. Oh, shit, damn. He didn't even hesitate. A man of few words. Put the barrel of the gun right between the kid's eyes and pulled the trigger. You don't see things like that. It's not like in the movies. <laughs> don't fall like you think. Did you have to do it? Do what? Kill. Have you had to off one yet? Oh. Is shoot one. I could shoot one, maybe, if it were far away. I'm just glad we're getting this fence built. Dad just wants to keep the family safe and thinks inviting people in is a bigger threat than whatever's out there. Well, we're How about already here. How's your family? My brother and parents are in Macon. I hope. Oh man, I hope so too. Maybe it's not too bad there. Maybe. That's probably all I need cut for now. Thanks. <laughs> like a duck back there, man. And Sean, thanks again for the ride. No problem, Lee. Couldn't leave you behind. Anyway. Nah, because then we wouldn't have a game. Might want some help in the barn. Sure. Let's go talk to old boy. I will say, this Herschel definitely looks more capable than uh, Herschel from the show, but hey, he's still a legend. How'd you get out of Atlanta? I got a ride and then I was in a wreck. I walked until your boy found me. We had this conversation already. You're no worse for wear. So let's try to keep the details together. A nice plot of land. <laughs> Had you told me 20 years ago I'd still be doing this, I would have told you that you were full of crap. Never was a plan, having a place like this. It was in the family, and I guess so was I. Family's important. It's all that matters. You agree with that? Was brought up to, yes. Where's your family now? Pros glitch it out. Wife, girlfriend? My parents are in Macon with my brother. Well, I hope they're all right. But now you've got this little girl to take care of. Clementine, is it? You just stumbled up on her? I was being attacked and she came to my rescue. I feel like I told the truth, <laughs> mostly. A piece of advice. Sure. I don't know who you are or what you did. Let's say things don't get better back in the cities, or they get worse before they do. You're going to have to depend on the honesty of strangers if you're going to make it. And if those same people get to questioning yours, you're going to be in trouble. 
But at least you have the common sense to listen to a man giving you advice. <laughs> yeah, that could have gone worse. What the hell did you do, Duck? How did you turn it on? Alright, I know what I gotta do. Oh, I probably I think I was supposed to grab him. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, sorry. After we just had such a nice conversation. <laughs> time you panic please <laughs> just go get out and never come back understood i couldn't tell what kind of look that was i went for your son you got that ride to make it if you want it Because from this point on, it's like, I just got to stay on Kenny's side. Mostly. <laughs> well, this is Duck as far as we're going. Then it's far enough. Conveniently. Drugs, baby. Said his parents owned a drugstore. Hey there. You friendly? Trucks run out of gas. Um Fuck. Yay, new characters. Oh yeah, we get to meet one of the best characters in this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter what, I fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. It could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. That's still a kid. I I have to pee. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I'd go out there again in a second. In a minute, Clem. They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here. But it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. Holy shit. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. The fuck is dead body? We'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He I hate Larry, but. Fucking people get it. 
We've this voice delivery is so good. We let some over the bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out or smash his head in. Kenny, <laughs> help him! Hey, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It's... Lily, I'll handle this. But your heart, Dad. You need to calm down. Fuck it, kick his ass. ass. That's what I'm thinking. Everyone, chill the fuck out. Nobody is doing anything. Shut <laughs> up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here. And none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten. That's how you turn. He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, we get it. It's a big deal. Sit down. Boy, that's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> You and one homo parade. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> What's that mean? Before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Lee. Yeah. Let's There's not do this. It's just locked. Keys behind the counter. Probably. Hey, yeah. I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it then. But right now, we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bitten. It's not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. No. no. You don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on. <laughs> you better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here. <laughs> you old fuck. Oh, God damn it. Jesus! I'm woozy, bruh. Fucking deck this man. Mm. Yeah, probably not the best idea, but sure. I like the okay? distant air conditioner. Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? What happens if you like pick Larry's side in that whole thing? I'm other than Kenny wanting to kick your ass. Ah, uh, yes, divine justice. What's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. We'll get in there somehow. Thank you so much. Try to be easy on the details. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. And here's our first puzzle. Look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel not too far from here. Out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it and then loop back, siphoning what I can. All right, silence is consent. That's the oh, plan. whoops! I didn't. That, sorry. <laughs> talky if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as. Sorry, I, I was checking What's a message. It's Lily, my dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. 
These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. Doug and You'll Carly. shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now, Kenny taking charge. All right, our first puzzle: gas pills. Uh, I don't remember what else. There's like like batteries as well. Yeah, this one's gonna be a while, so I'll I'll cut through most of this. You're a pretty good shot. Well, you don't fuck with a reporter, especially one that's three <laughs> days out from her last cup of coffee. What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have a look. Needs batteries, right? There are no batteries in this thing. What now? Do you know that there are no batteries in that thing? Yeah, of course. I, I mean, yeah. No. I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. It's batteries. Mm-hmm. Got one battery. Oh, two batteries? Oh, this helicopter. Fit the radio. Great, thanks. And here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. Just hand it both. Alright, cool. Side quest completed. It's not much, but here. For the boy. Oh, thanks, Lee. He appreciates it. That's sweet, Lee. Try to get some rest, hon. A lot. <laughs> Don't dead open inside. Oh, we're actually going in. Oh, shit. Is the picture? Yeah. Find anything? Oh, I forgot to look around more because I, I forget that's what triggers the next cutscene. It's a photo of the family who owned this place. Might help us track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. Um... Did you tell anyone out there who you were, or that you were tied to this place? No. It's the apocalypse. for a reason. What do you... <laughs> we just met. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. I hear you. I just helped I'll you with the radio. Thanks. Don't worry about it. I think I'm gonna have to do a music reaction to this theme, man. It's so fucking good. My parents came in here hoping to survive. But it looks like one of them was hurt. I wonder if it was my dad. <laughs> To be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Oh, this is gonna be... It's... Uh, I can't. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. Nothing yet, you never know. Let's check on Clem. No, don't look at her. Talk to her. Everyone out there seem alright to you? Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah, we'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. 
That's my boy. Well, I'm not gonna go looking for. I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Try not to get yourself in trouble. Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Glenn. No, I don't want to exit or yeah, exit the conversation. Okay. What is this? That's Kane. He zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shoplifters with it. <laughs> this Kane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you wouldn't have. <laughs> Dad gave it to me. See, Dad's just smart like that. You should keep the cane, Lee. It's a rite of passage. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Of course. Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. <laughs> Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Oh, See nothing. Here we go. Do you have kids? No. You don't have a family? Yeah. Let's just change the subject. My mom is a doctor, and my dad is an engineer. Those are good jobs. What's your job? I uh, teach history and writing things like that like um social studies yeah like that <laughs> you didn't answer my question all right a little further yeah and i'm not going to at least not yet <sighs> why don't you want to talk about your family do they like hate you it's complicated i hope not it's just complicated it just is. <laughs> it is but what it is, Clem. Right? Yeah, of course. Look, my family's gone, and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> I got into some trouble, and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their store. But let's just keep that between you and me, okay? Okay, because of the trouble? Yeah, that's right. Now, let's get this done. Let's get her done. Ow! Damn! Okay. I hurt my finger. A lot of blood. A little. My fingy. <laughs> no sound effects. Now we go to the med kit. Nothing I need, but stuff she'll need. With haste, Lee. Let's have a look at that finger. How? It hurt. <laughs> it hurt. <laughs> Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. Uh, I gotta look. Yeah, 2012. Lee? when this game came out. Yeah. What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. They'll find us. Keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Yeah, your parents have the other walkie, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Might come in handy, you don't know. <laughs> Try it on that TV. That's what I figured. Alright. 
Let's get out of this fucking room before the music loops again. Wanna head back into the drugstore with me? Okay. The more it loops, the more sad I get. Yeah. You're not bad, right? I... Bad to the bone, but... That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. Oh. Was oh. he bad? He was. It's complicated. <laughs> Lee's at a constant keeping it complicated. Hey there, uh, this is Glenn, and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. <laughs> uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone? I wonder if they tried to get Steven Yeun to voice Glenn in this. This is Lee. What's up? So I'm down at that motor inn, and well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group. And a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn. We're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll send we'll come to get you. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. Yeah, then we'll come back and do that whole that whole shaboing boing. Hold on, let's give this to Clem before we leave. It's not much, but here you go. Not Thank much, you. but it's honest work. I right, I'm gonna head out. It's still not working. Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look at that thing. Go ahead. Did you put the batteries in it? Or wait, doesn't she? <laughs> did she put the batteries in backwards? You put them in the wrong fucking way. No, open it. <laughs> fucking come. No! <laughs> put them back, Lee. Why is that a thing? As the unknown affliction continues to spread on You fixed it. The station is okay. In the event of a full... Uh, uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, WABE wishes you and your loved ones... God bless you all. Alright, wanna go save Glenn? <laughs> you ready to head out? I, I'm gonna head out. Yeah. yeah. Let's go. And then we'll come back and do the whole Larry thing. Just one. Are we not bring a melee weapon with us? Did you see that? Sure did. Be ready to shoot. Guys. Oh man, I'm glad you're here. Jesus, Glenn. All right, then wasn't so hard. Can we get out of here before any of these things notice us? Not yet. There's a survivor trapped up there. No way. We gotta go now. Listen. I was out here looking for gas, and then, up there in the corner room, I heard crying coming from inside. It's a witch. It? It's a girl. We talked and she got frightened. It's I was a witch. trying to get in and help her, and she started yelling and saying I was bitten. I tried to convince her I wasn't, and that's when all these guys came out of the forest. A, a couple almost got me, and I ended up hiding in the ice machine. Lucky you. Now let's go. We can't just leave her. Damn right we can. You guys are suicidal. Over a girl. I'm saving her. With or without you. Think Classic you. horny Glenn. Fine. Let's go save Glenn's damsel in distress. Alright. Another puzzle. <laughs> this part's long. I forget. Take a look at it all. There's the axe over there. That guy. That guy. Yeah, it's boarded up. 
So we have to kill every one of them in here. Quietly. Noise attracts these things. Now let's have a look around. There's one back there, trying to get into a room. But I didn't see anyone actually in there. What? Yeah, we, we need to go over here. They really want to get into that room. Probably shouldn't have stopped. That guy's like right there. Yeah, let's not let's not punch it. Punch it. Ow. Hey man, that drew some attention. Be careful. Yeah, but. Where? Because we have to get like the spark plug thing or something, right? And throw it at the window. We can do something with that car, I bet. If it weren't for that fella lurking near the front. I'm lurking. Because we need to get a, a pillow, right? There's a pillow yeah. over there. Yeah, it's let me. as far as I got when it came to supply gathering. I might have an idea for it. Yeah, give me that. Good luck smothering them to death. That's not really what I have in mind. Yeah, now that we go back to our little pal over here. Pillow! But the noise. Just follow my lead. Stay right behind me. There's no way it would be that quiet. <laughs> That's also kind of cool. Cool, but just like, is that how we killed the senator? Smothered them. Just maybe. <laughs> Are we on an, in an incline, a decline? Why is it? it was awesome. <laughs> All right. Um. Yeah. Now we throw the sparky, sparky boom boom at the window. See the spark plug. The porcelain inside these things turns car windows to tissue paper. All right. Is that real? <laughs> Is that actually a thing? Screwdriver. That How we got it? Rain pretty good. That's exactly what I was thinking. All right, now we go uh, over to little Missy over there. Yeah, buddy. I'm gonna try to go for a no death run. I probably shouldn't manifest that into the universe, but I'm going to try. As big as the Prime Walker Killer, they should oh. be able to take those guys out when they come around the corner of the RV. Walker Killer. Is that the first Walker mention? Oh yeah, I've got to time this correctly. Come on. Come on. Let's play hide and seek. There we go. And there's a couple more. Get that back. Get use that. Dude, where'd your weapon go? Into that ice big sized hole. <laughs> Holy shit. It's cool. Now we've got this. Are you two uh -huh. done? <laughs> Are you two done being comic book characters? Two more. That should help. Yeah. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky. Like, imagine a Left 4 Dead comic book thing where it's like actual story. Come here, boyos. And girlo. That wasn't me spam clicking. But that would never be me. Rad. Rad. So. Hello in there. We're here to help. Please just go away. Let's go, guys. In a minute. If you open up, we can take you somewhere safer. We've got a group in town. No, no, no. Please. She's in trouble. No. Miss, we're coming in. 
Breach and clear. Stop, just stop. I'm coming out. Hi. Oh God. I I said stay away. We need to get you help. It's too late for that. Guys, she's been bitten. What? I told you, I said go away! I'm bit! But you wouldn't just leave. Let's calm down. You could be fine. I won't be fine. My boyfriend was bitten. You get sick and you die, and, and you come back and you kill anything you can find. You have a boyfriend? What? <laughs> I don't want that. It's not Christian. Please. No, it's not. Just leave me, please. Go. Virginity rocks. Okay, we'll leave. Just try to take care of yourself for whatever time you have left. We'll take care of you afterwards. So, can I borrow it? What do you mean, borrow? Give it to me. I can just, you know, end this and then, and then there's no problem. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Please, I don't want to be one of them. They're, they're satanic. <laughs> I mean, uh, you can't I... let you do that to yourself. Then do it for me. We need to get going. Give it to me, please. This is crazy. Please step back. It's just two seconds, just one bullet, and I can be with my family, and it'll all be fine. Yes. Um. Please. Yeah, I know it does. We could have saved ourselves the balcony. Take it easy. We just want to help. You can't. Miss, just relax now. You need to think this through. We'll find you a doctor. It'll be okay. Let's all just... No, no! no! <laughs> yeah. I mean, it was either she does it or we do it, to be fair. Just wait till she turns. Really, that's what made you do it? <laughs> I shoved a screwdriver in a dude's cranium five minutes ago. Shit! Here they come! Alright, one final piece of the puzzle. Of course he drives a Everyone pizza right? delivery truck. Yeah, we had some close calls, but Glenn is fine and... Well, yeah. We're okay. I've got a few cans of gas for your pickup in the trunk of my car. Good to hear it. And things back here? Quiet. Our friend Too quiet. Is still in and out over there. He won't survive any more stress. The next order of business is getting those pills out of the pharmacy. Yeah, let's save the best for last. We gotta go to old Dougie boy. I'll enjoy my time with you while I have it. Heard or seen anything? Nothing, luckily. Wanna step outside, have a look around? <laughs> I'm not suicidal yet. No, who's his voice? We can hang out in front of the store and be fine. Oh, huh. Mm -hmm. Sure. Let's go have a look around. Cool. And we'll keep it down. Don't need to bring them back this way with any unnecessary noises. Agreed. Yeah, because now we have the axe. We got the remote. Yeah. We should have everything we need. I can tell you how care of it. And if one gets you, they eat you. And whatever's left comes back as one of them. How the fuck? It's crazy that the Walking Dead show and comic ended. They never really yeah, delved into why. So too. We better keep it down out of here. I mean, I know that's the whole thing with how Robert Kirkman, like, sold The Walking Dead to publishers and whatnot. Because originally it was like, yeah, it's just a zombie survival thing. But it's like, no, it's boring. Can you make it more interesting? Like, all right, aliens created the zombie virus. <laughs> Think you can do anything with this? You know what I could do? 
What's that? I think we did this out of order, but it's fine. Program it to work with those TVs across the street. How? You can just do that? Well, I memorized all the codes when I was in AV. Let's try. It's like a Street Fighter code. It's so bullshit. Well fucking done, Doug. All that dork nonsense might save a life. Dork Same nonsense. Right Gotta break the window. I found this in the office. That boy in the photo worked here. The keys being on him is as good a bet as we could make. Yeah, I agree. Just need to figure out how to get out there and get them. You wouldn't need long, right? Nah, just a few seconds. Maybe there's a way to distract them and buy you some time. Yeah, I, I know. I did this all out of order. Doc, you want to get this door open? About that. You've got the combo, right? No. Did anyone ever have it? Look, man, there were a lot of those things trying to get in here. And now we can't get back out onto the street. We're also party to some egregious fire code violations. <laughs> what if I use this? <laughs> open sesame. That won't work. I was kidding. It's universal, but not that universal. I know, Doug. <laughs> Shut up, you fucking nerd. Awesome. Yeah, seems quiet enough. To distract those things. Give it a brick. That'll be bricked up. Brick. Oh my god, fucking... Uh, open the door! Da, 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 da. Yeah. I love it, but it's annoying sometimes. Time to lob this hoe. Yeah, they totally don't see us. Yeet! Hey, bud. Looking in a mirror. Hey, bud. I don't know what happened to mom and dad, but I know if you were there, you would have died for them. So, yeah. I'm gonna assume that's what happened. Did you find them yet? Got smashed by like a, a power pole. It's kind of poetic seeing him to take care of that helps. like him being pinned there and then knowing the end of this it's like poetic considering his fate in the end well depending on what you pick Could have just went for the the head. Why the neck, man? Yeah, it could have started with that. Ah, oh, man. Night, little bro. They didn't start moving until you said something. All right, let's get Larry some drugs. Man, that was close. But we did it. It's all that matters. Yeah, this photo in the background. What is that shirt he's wearing? Yeah. Oh, yay, we're back in here again. Yay, you get to hear the music. That's I mean, the it's... To the pharmacy. I... Be able to find pills for Larry in there. Yeah, I mean, I clicked two. Pills! Oh, no. Shit. Fuck. We gotta hurry. Flash to white. I think that's the only time that happens. It usually just fades. I'm faded in a hole, faded in a hole, faded in a hole. Need I say more? The climax of the first episode. Doc, 
Come on, baby, time to go. I'm gonna get the truck pulled up round back. Do it fast. I gotta get my dad out of here. I don't plan on dilly dallying. Honey, take Duck into the office and barricade the living hell out of the door behind me. Glenn, when you hear me honking in the alley, start getting people out of here. You got it. Doug, Carly, and Lee, you guys make sure our defenses stay up till then. And Lee, I better take that axe in case I run into any of them on the way to my truck. Here you go. All right, that door's not locked anymore. Shit! You three, get on it! I'll get back as fast as I can! Stay away from the windows. We technically killed... Um, no, I'm not gonna say anything. Uh, what do I... Ah! Hey, Lee. If we don't make it through this, you should know that I think you're a great guy. Not the time, Doug. Shut up, Doug! <laughs> we don't make it through this. You should know. Um... Oh boy. Are you sure? Shit. Oh shit. Okay then. Clementine, can you look for something to stick in between the handles? Something real strong, okay? Okay. Uh huh. Clementine, did you find anything? Nothing. Wait. A window. Something real strong. There's no way we're holding this back. Nothing can hold me back. I found something. Thanks, Dad. No! Protecting this place. Oh. The ultimate choice. Save her. Or save him. And well... Sorry, Doug. Now run over and save him. Sorry, I had to pick the classic choice. Take the screwdriver. Run. Larry, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Are we just not gonna talk about that that just happened? Thanks, Ken. Especially a good friend. Thanks, man. Clementine shut her door to her home. We shut our door. Holy shit. What was awesome? <laughs> Watching someone get eaten alive. Yeah, I still think this is gonna blow over, Kenny. <laughs> friends there and I just can't stay here knowing that they could be trapped in that city so come with us Lee happened when we left a few days ago could have gone either way I got to take my chances can you just look over it everything we own would be lost if I left you alone for five minutes he's got to go Yeah, go with them, Lee. <laughs> Link up with Rick and all them. So you gotta do what you gotta do. And I gotta do this. I respect that. You guys be safe. We'll try. Did you check 
You'll find your your maiden. Don't worry, Glenn. Later, Glenn. Stay away from baseball bats. <laughs> this shit happens back there. Close call back there. Thanks for picking me up. No problem. We have to take care of each other. Yeah, we do. Yeah, we do. This. I think you know what you're doing. Shit, man, do any of us? With Clementine, I mean. Earlier, you said you were clueless. I just want you to know that I look at you and I see the type of guy who figures things out. That girl's gonna be just fine. Thanks, Kenny. Yes, she will. Yeah. But she's gotta grow. Oh my god, shut up, Katja. I'm okay. Fucking looped dialogue. I wish it was a little quieter. I can't stop thinking about Doug. We couldn't have saved him, could we? I don't think so. There was time. I know it's stupid. We just met. And he was such a... It's just that... I think that I liked him. Well, I'm sure he liked you too. <laughs> you better have. Anyway, I like that I say I what I want to say, but yet I don't pick that option. I understand. Don't worry, Carly. You'll Wait, find another. What is it? How did you choose? We both needed you. I pressed D and then left mouse click. I, I was going to help you both. But you helped me first. Yeah, I did. I just wish we both could have made it, you know? Me too, Carly. Yeah, I guess I just told you you're not special, but whatever. It's fine. We got two more episodes before that. What's up, kiddos? Yeah, I'll get to you in a He's a scorpion tattoo, I just realized. But you know what? He wasn't. Oh, and then... Hey, Duck, uh, you want to cool it for a minute? Okay, sorry. Chill the fuck out, you spazoid. No, it's not that. It's... I got grabbed again. I was there, though. I fell, and my walkie-talkie broke. Uh. I had the other one. Oh, I'm sorry. Thanks. I know I need to be tough. I'm just sad. I know it doesn't make any sense. But it's how I used to talk to my mom and dad. And now they're gone. No, it's not. Not too long for five minutes. Shut up, gotcha. I'll just keep this one, I guess. Lee, come here for a second. Hmm. Let me go deal with this. Don't talk oh, like... <laughs> what do you want? You like my daughter? Her dad tried to kill me, so... Well, he did that because he knows that Lee Everett is a convicted murderer. And so will everyone else if you go near her. Well, now you're... You would have been... I know who attempted you murder. And I don't give a shit about what happens to you. But if anything happens to my daughter or that little girl you've got with you... You watch your ass. I'll watch your daughter's ass. Hey, Lee, do you have a second? Oh, god damn it. My dad would be dead if it weren't for you. That guy Doug is dead because of me. You can't be like that. You're only one man. He's a hell of a man, though. There we go. I hope that's the sound of us winning this thing. Me too. This motor in's pretty damn defendable. We block off the entrances with some cars, keep someone on watch. We could stay here until the military rolls through. I actually agree with that plan. Me too. It's the last time pets, you two will agree on some. And most importantly, we got light. There are worse places to call home. Yeah, you're right. You know, guys, I think it's going to be okay.
And that's that. It's gonna be okay. No, I don't want to see the next time. Actually, no, I kind of do, because I want to see how accurate it actually is. I thought we'd be fine if we survived the walkers. Never expected they'd starve us out. I want you to have this, okay? In case you or Clementine starts feeling weak. You don't owe me anything, Carly. How you doing, Clementine? I'm really hungry, Lee. We gotta get food, Lee. Soon. Howdy! I'm Andrew St. John. We're from the St. John Dairy. It's beautiful. I never mm. did thank you for saving Duck from the Walkers back at Herschel's farm. Something's coming, Lee. There's gonna be a war. The Walkers don't worry me as much as the bandits. You fucked with us! Now we're gonna take what we want! There's too many of them! Ah! 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 You never liked my dad. Even back at the drugstore when everyone thought Jenny's kid was bit, you went out of your way to side against him. This isn't happening. Ah, uh, Ben. No more, please. No more, please. Lee, please. I like because that was made like they were already working on the next part, but like it wasn't fit because a lot of those cutscenes changed later. Yep. Season one. Yeah, I like that it's pretty much just split down the middle now. You lied to Herschel, 54% were honest. Dr. Sean, 52% saved Sean. Side with Kenny, 54% side with Kenny. Gave Irene the gun. It's interesting that more people have gone back and chosen Doug now. Because I feel like so many people have seen the Carly route, you know. It's like the default route, honestly. Which I was tempted to pick it. I'm going for more of like the intended story for this. I still remember when like this game first came out. Like some of those choices were leaned so far. But you know, so much time has Pass, especially more people have played this version of the game now. It's more just evened out. Oh man, what a what a first part to a game, man. It's I know a lot of it, or I like to think I'm pretty quiet for most of it, just because you know, well, especially for the cutscenes, you know, I don't want to like interrupt the dialogue. Oh, it's it's so good. It's all it only gets better as well. For this, like though, when it comes to like the choices, like especially with like dialogue, and this is the game that really spawned just like, oh yeah, the whole thing of like the choices impact your gameplay and all that. It doesn't really, I mean, this game more than other telltale games i would say more impacts how you play the dialogue choices don't really matter when it comes to how you interact with kenny i will say it does matter going more towards the end kenny and clem to a certain extent yeah but in terms of like gameplay wise it actually is a lot more interactive than what i remember you know stuff like jurassic park because you know a lot of the earlier telltale games and even more of some of the later walking dead seasons it's more point and click there's not too much like i'm using wasd a lot more than i thought having to click it interact you know having to choose between looking at something or talking to something or using an item having to use like the one two three four keys as well i think mainly because like if you do it on controller it, it's not like that it's not as interactive i think there's still the thing where you have to like you know press like the d-pad though i know pretty much this whole story inside and out i know what choices to pick it's still fun you know and obviously it's not gonna be taking me nearly as long to complete it, especially with like the puzzles and stuff the first time i did like that motel on the drugstore I'm pretty sure that took me like over an hour whereas this is like, like i know the places to go i know who to talk to doing that freaking radio puzzle side quest besides all that I want to keep going. I want to play episode two. And yeah, I hope you all will continue to, to join me as we go through this Telltale Games The Walking Dead. It's going to be fun. Either way, this was my gameplay for episode one, part one, a new day of The Walking Dead Telltale Game. Join me next time for part two, as well as everything else that will be coming out soon. So until next time, I'm Lancer. Thanks for watching.